Hi, sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Felicia. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Well, in today's video, I am going to be refreshing my hot cocoa slash coffee bar, and I'm going to be decorating it for Valentine's Day. I'm also going to be creating two very simple DIYs. So let's get started. <music> before we begin decorating my hot cocoa bar I'm just showing you this tile here because this is my inspiration piece for my refresh on my hot cocoa bar slash coffee station and I love the red and pink and white combination so these are all the snacks and the goodies and treats that I have pulled as you can see here I may use some of these not all of them but I'm just showing you the items that I have pulled. I have also pulled my little signs here. Um, so, yeah, this is what we're going to be working with. I also have this little heart-shaped candy suspenser. Not sure if I'm going to use that, but I pulled it just in case. Now, these are the dispensers that I'm going to be using to put my toppings in here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and fill those, and we're going to start refreshing this hot cocoa coffee bar station so here i'm just filling each of my little dispensers here by adding some m and m's i'm going to add some brown sugar and i'm also going to be adding some snowflake marshmallows in the third dispenser although i enjoy decorating my hot cocoa slash coffee bar from season to season i also like to make sure that the items that i'm adding to the bar that we actually are going to eat and enjoy so this is what the hot cocoa slash coffee bar station looks like right now i have removed all the christmas decor the only thing that i have kept are is this particular sign here my Keurig stand and this cutting board right here and so we're gonna get started decorating I'm kind of on the fence about keeping this sign but we're gonna see how everything turns out so let's get started so I am going to use this tier tray right here I had the wooden one during the Christmas time it acted as a turntable on the bottom but it didn't fit the design that I wanted for Valentine's so we're just going to use this one and we're going to add our toppings to the bottom and we may put some decor things on the top because the top is very narrow so let's get started doing that so now we have added our toppings here with our Valentine's M&Ms our snowflake style marshmallows and the brown sugar in the back. And also I'm gonna take these Valentine sprinkles here. I'm just gonna sit them in the back because they're not in a really decorative container. So I'm gonna place this tear tray in this back corner right here. So now I have installed this two tier tray with my toppings. So we're gonna move on to the next item that we're gonna add to this bar. So we're gonna go ahead and install this container and I'm just gonna place this over in the center for right now. Now here, these are some of the mugs that I've decided to use. And on each of these mugs, there is a scripture and they are Valentine themed with the hearts. This one says, love is patient, love is kind. First Corinthians 13 and 14. I purchased all these mugs. They came in this set of four and I think they were less than $8 from my Burlington store. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these on the bar. So now we have installed the mugs on the bar. So now I'm gonna go back over here and add a mug here on the Keurig. So I have chosen to add this mug here onto the Keurig because it combines both the pink and the red theme that I'm trying to have on this bar. So I decided to go ahead and stack these three mugs because there are some other things I want to add over here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am gonna be adding this um, miniature picture here 
and I'm going to place some candy and some other items inside of this container. So we're going to be adding these chocolate double crisp candy bars <laughs> um, onto the bar as well. I thought they would bring in some whimsy. So I'm just going to go ahead, because they're so tall, I'm just going to go ahead and add them into this container and just stand them up basically, just like that. And I also had some of these chocolate um, spoons left. And I'm just going to add those in. I'm just going to stick them on the corner. And they still they have the marshmallows and the peppermint and everything on there. So now I'm going to take this and place it over here on this cutting board. So this is what it looks like. So now I am just adding another canister to the bar. I'm just filling it full of my favorite animal cookies. I want to take a moment to thank all my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for your commitment and dedication to this channel. I appreciate all your love and support. And also, let's welcome our new friends. We have new family members. Welcome, new friends, and I hope you enjoy your stay here. For my first DIY, I am going to be using these miniature floral pots that I painted in the summer white, and I'm also going to be using these beautiful soft pink roses. Each of these items came from the Dollar Tree. To create this arrangement, I simply snipped off the buds of each rose and placed them in the center of the pot. Now I am going to place each into place onto my bar. I'm also adding some additional roses to fill out the top of this tiered tray, as well as this white yarn heart that has the red buffalo check bow attached, just for some visual interest. Next, I am going to be using this boxwood wreath along with another one of those white yarn hearts to complete this side of the bar. And I'm also going to repeat this same pattern on the other side of the bar as well. For my next DIY, I am gonna be using this house shaped sign and I am going to be adding the word coffee to make my own personalized coffee bar sign. I'm also going to be adding these wooden hearts to create some more visual interest to this personalized sign. I decided to take the word coffee and turn it in the diagonal direction. I just thought it looked better. I'm also adding these very miniature little cupcakes. I think they came from the fairy collection from Dollar Tree last year. I thought they were so adorable that I decided to add it to the top of this canister. So now I'm gonna add this sign to complete this side of the bar. And I'm also gonna add an additional rosebud to the back of this little truck. Up next, I'm gonna add the last two items to this bar, which is this heart-shaped salad plate, as well as some decorative napkins. And I wanna thank you all for stopping by today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you would like to become a part of the Felicia by the Seasons family, just click that subscribe button. And welcome to the family. It's so good to see you We do this every day
And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two Oh, mm -hmm.